hey y'all welcome back to the channel guys i just got back from dj's and it was very very busy there and it's cold windy and um rainy today so i was just trying to get through the store to get what i needed and get out but the wind was so strong guys i couldn't do nothing but laugh because it was blowing people and things everywhere so anyway guys Thanks for coming back to the channel. I really appreciate it. I want to say hello to everyone. I hope everyone you love and care about is doing well, and I hope you're doing well. Guys, I'm going to jump right into it and show you what I got so I can start putting this stuff up because I have other things I need to do. So starting right here, guys, I got two of the Pure Life Nestle Water. I got two cases of those, and um, BJ's was carrying the 35, the 35 in there but now they're back to the 40 so i was happy to see that so i got two cases of those back here i have some of these um can't pronounce them right now guys i'm super tired this is the um honey barbecue party size potato chips my son really enjoyed these he said he liked these better than the barbecue ones because he said the barbecue ones are too salty which he's right because I used to get them a long time ago and they're very salty but these are really good and they're not salty at all perfect honey flavor also guys we got two of the cheetos puff that's one of our favorites in the house we also got some doritos we got the blue bag back there and the red bag i call them the blue and red bag just regular doritos that we like right here i have some um popcorn I like to do the popcorn over the stove for movie night. We like the bag, pop, the bag popcorn too, but I just decided to go back with these because it's just a lot nicer and fresher. Bring me back to my um, childhood days when my mom used to pop popcorn over the stove. So I saw these. It was not a bad price, so I went ahead and got those for us. Also, I got some big, um, big thing of uh, vegetable oil. This is the wise vegetable oil over here guys they have um y'all know i'm crazy about my lysol sterilizer they had these in so i grabbed one and guess what they had a coupon for this and their coupon book is um two dollars off so because because they are 13.99 and i got two dollars off also right here y'all know i love my game moonlight breeze detergent so these were 17.99 and it was two dollars and fifty cents off so I was excited about that because I wash faithfully every two weeks. Everything in my apartment gets washed. So I was happy to get those. Right here, guys, um, I got the Fruity Pebbles. It's two packs come in the box. These go really quick in my house. I like to enjoy them sometimes, but my son will most likely eat most of them before I can get to them. So if I don't show it to you guys, that means that's not a part of this haul. This is all BJ's that I'm showing you guys. Okay, guys, up here, I'm showing you guys. I needed some celery. I really didn't need much, but the big box stores or the regular stores, they all have a lot. So what I'm planning on doing is I needed this for my homemade soup. I'm going to use half for my homemade soup. Well, not, well, a little for my homemade soup. And then I'm going to use some for when we have wing night or either sometime on movie night. We like to have wings and other, other little sides finger foods i'm gonna add these on the side of those two whatever i have left from my two recipes when i use these because i don't want them to go to waste and let me know down in the comment section and do these freeze well i have to ask my mom because i don't buy celery celery that much but when i do we don't eat a, we just don't eat a whole lot of them unless i need it for our recipes or we have it with wings on the side so just let me know do they freeze well but i'm probably have to ask my mom when i get finished filming over here i got this salad kit guys this is the taylor's everyday chop kit i really like this brand so i went ahead and got that it was a real fresh bag so i went ahead and got that we'll probably have that for sunday dinner i enjoy that one and i got two head of lettuce back there right here i got some um i never seen them like this in my store and i like these the way they have them right here this is also for recipes. I didn't need a lot, but I'm probably going to get one bag to my mom. And then I'm going to keep one bag because I need I need some for a recipe 
and I'm going to save some of it for when we have wing night as well to go with the celery. But I'm going to get one bag to my mom and keep one bag. Also, guys, we have some fresh lemons. I love my lemons because I clean a lot of my meats with the lemon. And also, I put lemon in my um, hot teas that I drink. Also, guys, I, ha I haven't had this in a while. This is my Michelin Low Carb Balance. This is the whole wheat. These are, these are the um, wraps. So I grab one big pack of that because me and my son enjoy the wraps. He make all kinds of stuff with the wraps. Me, I do breakfast wraps or sometimes I grab it and make just a quick sandwich or something with it when I don't feel like cooking. Back here we got the, I'm sorry guys, this is backwards, but y'all know what it is. It's Sarah Lee. This is the um, restaurant style um, hot dog buns. We have some, we have some Polish sausage and some hot dogs we need to get rid of, so... I'm not doing a whole lot of cooking because I know I, I'm going to be doing a lot again for Christmas. So I'm not doing a whole lot of cook, cooking the, at this next up, the next week and a half. So we're going to try to get rid of some of those Polish boys, Polish sausage and hot dogs. So I got that pack right there and I might end up freezing half and putting the other half in the refrigerator. So, okay. And then over here, guys, I haven't had orange juice in a while. At least about four weeks probably five so y'all know i always when i go to sam's club i always try to get me two big things like this so i got two of the big um tropicana orange juice nice to have in the morning because sometimes i'm not hungry in the morning so i grab a small piece of fruit some orange juice or some water something like that and i'm happy until i get hungry so anyway got two of those my son requested for these right here i have never seen him eat it but he said he do eat it. He's he's he wants something quick and easy um, before he goes to work or on his way out the door. The Jimmy Dean's Crescent um, sausage, eggs and cheese. We usually get because y'all know I'm crazy about Bob Evans, but a lot of the big box stores don't sell Bob Evans breakfast sandwiches and breakfast sausages for some reason. Everything is Jimmy Dean's. I'm not a Jimmy Dean fan, but my son said he tried it and he said he liked this, so he wanted me to pick him up some of these so I got this for him like I said for a quick breakfast in the morning because he has he's he's going to be going to work he's going to be working during his um college break so I got that for him also this is one of his other favorites back here guys um he liked these little unos now these are really good guys they're really good in the oven and they're really good in the air fryer that's what I heard because I don't have an air fryer but I know they're good in the oven and we also have did these in the microwave so good and this is what he prefers he likes the steak and cheese so I got that for him uh, as well so if I'm home if he when he come home I'm not quite done cooking dinner or I don't feel like cooking dinner he can grab this or in the morning too he can take a break from these and he can grab these so that's for him and every now and then I might grab one or two but they're really really good guys over here this is another request that he wanted y'all know I'm not a huge Tyson fan um, maybe it's just me and maybe it's just their chicken strips but I got turned off by Tyson because for one they're always having some type of recall second when you get any of their like chicken it seemed like you get a lot of the grittiness than chicken so I don't know. He requests for these, my son. He wanted the um, Tyson's chicken patty, the panko, all white meat. So this is for him. I'm going to divide these into probably like two bags and put them in the um, one in the deep freezer and one in the freezer for him. So that's for him. Um, if you want to know how they taste, if you never had the panko ones, because I haven't had a good, um, I love me a good chicken sandwich, but I haven't been able to find a good chicken patty in a long time. Last time I had a good chicken patty, I don't know if some of y'all are familiar with the, um, in, in the Northeast, we have a company called Swanson, Swans, not Swanson. It's called Swans with a pretty swans on the truck and the truck is yellow. Um, if you place an order, they come to your house. Of course, it's fees and stuff like that, but they come to your house. They accept just about everything and they come to your house and bring you your deliver. They had good chicken patties and it's been years since I ordered for them. I may have to start back ordering some things for them because I really like them. They come in my area every two weeks. It's either every two weeks or once a month, but they accept just about everything and they got really, really good desserts in food and vegetables. So if you know anything about swans, they have good chicken patties and good chicken nuggets. Because I like a real good chicken patty. I don't like all this. I don't know. I don't just don't like all this stuff like that. 
so anyway he he requested those as well so i got that for him he's in a chicken patty little kick that's going on right now right here i needed some more onions so i know last time um i tried the organic onions and i really liked them so they had a lot out i know it's supposed to be a recall on onions but that's why we pray over our food and hope for the best and keep it moving but yeah, I got a bag of onions and I also got a bag of um, potatoes right here. Just regular Idaho potatoes. And um, I skipped this one and I apologize. This is this is my first time picking up these. This is a green giant fresh mini yellow potatoes. I haven't got yellow potatoes in, in a long time. But I got this because this is for my homemade soup as well that I'm going to be making the up fo um, next following week. I may record it if you guys if enough of you guys say you want to see me record my homemade um soup let me know and i will record it for you guys um but it has to be at least 10 or more because with all the recording and editing it, it's a lot guys but if you want to see me make my homemade soups let me know but this is for my homemade soups right here and um i'm glad that they had them this time around so yeah guys i think so far Oh, no, guys. Hold on. Right here, I got some more of the honey grams. Y'all know I love honey grams. This is one of my childhood favorites, and my son loves them, too. So I got a pack of the honey grams because in this, in this big box, when you open it up, it's four separate boxes in here. So we only have two boxes left, so I went here and got another one to put in our stockpile. And also, we down to one roll of, two rolls of Oreo cookies. So... I got some more Oreo cookies because we are a huge Oreo cookie fan over here. We make the milkshakes, uh, McFlurries or whatever, and um, we we eat them by ourselves. It just we, we really we really enjoy Oreos, and we try to have a lot of the junk food on the weekends while we doing movie night and stuff like that. So I think that's it, guys. Um, no, it's not it. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. I'm just really tired and exhausted. The weather got me kind of woozy a little bit and sleepy. And I'm just trying to get this stuff up. So I do apologize. I got a counter full of stuff over here. Y'all know usually this is not me, but I'm just a little drowsy and sleepy, which when I get finished putting everything else up and I have something else I need to do real quick, I'm going to go and take me a nap. So this would be the last of it over here on this counter. So I apologize. Um, this is the only, BJ's is the only place that I can find in my area. Um, Costco's don't sell it and um, Sam's Club don't sell it. In my area this is the craft deluxe cheese i like this cheese me and my son we like this cheese when we make the um ham and cheese sandwiches or when he make the grilled cheese sandwiches or either on just regular sandwiches we really enjoy these this the deluxe ones right here so i got one pack of there's two packs in there so i got one box and they freeze real well because i just took one out the freezer about two weeks ago so we almost gone with that one, so I just picked up another one. I'm going to put probably both of them in the freezer this time until that other pack is gone. Finally got lemon juice because for some reason I always forget my lemon juice, and I've been forgetting it for the last couple of months because I've been trying to just get what I need and get out the store. Y'all know I don't like crowds. Been like that all my life. I just don't like a lot of crowd. I, I You know, like when it's too crowded. And around the holidays, it's extremely crowded everywhere you go now. So anyway, finally got my uh, real lemon juice didn't forget that they had it like out in the open this time so i just grabbed one over here guys i have been out of um mozzarella sticks we are a huge mozzarella stick um fan we love mozzarella sticks in this house and i haven't had none in about three months and i have been craving like crazy for some the only place i the only people that i like i like bj's mozzarella sticks and and the costco's i have tried all of them costco's and bj's those are the only two best uh, mozzarella sticks that i have ever tried all the rest of them i don't like them when it comes to real mozzarella sticks bj's costco's so i was getting two boxes but i said well that i didn't know if i was gonna have enough room in my deep freezer or freezer for them plus i said that, that may be a little overkill because it's two pack two big packs come in this box so i know one is probably gonna go this upcoming weekend well, this upcoming week period, one one pack is probably already going to be gone. And the other pack I'm going to put in my deep freezer. But yeah, I'm super excited to see mozzarella sticks. I, we are huge fans of a good mozzarella sticks. Over here, I have 
some daisy sour cream i just got the tub we, we really enjoyed the tub to just scoop a nice little scoop out and put it on whatever we're gonna put it on so i just got one of those it'll last us a while and we only like this brand of sour cream also guys i got some more curry gold butter i thought it was bigger than this the curry gold butter everything is being sliced it's been like that for the last six months now everything has been sliced in half the, the products and they still charge it more and more but anyway i picked up a big tub and y'all see the two small tubs in my other haul that i did at my local grocery store because i use a lot of the curry gold butter since i discovered it a few years ago because i usually didn't want to use it all the time because i was trying to save it but i i actually use a lot of the curry gold butter a lot back here we got the kit cash you don't see this all the time uh, we haven't had these um since last since this past summer that's the last time i remember getting these so i saw these and i just thought these would be good i'm gonna put half in the deep freeze and half in the um freezer um we love these kit cats um little cones or whatever pretty tasty i had no more worcestershire sauce and liam liam and whoever you want to call can't pronounce the name I like this brand of Worcestershire sauce. I've been hooked ever since a friend of mine I used to work with um, back in our retail days was telling me she put these on her burgers. It's been over 15 years. I've been hooked ever since because I use this for this can be used for just about everything. It really bring, brings out the flavor in, um, in meats. So especially your pork. I mean especially your beef. So I had um, went ahead and got both of these i was gonna get the small with just one big one at the local grocery store but i decided that this is a better deal so i went ahead and just got this pack from bj's right here i got some more of the olive oil um signature italian um dressing because we really like the olive the olive garden dressing we didn't get a chance to use use as much last time when i bought it from sam's club back here in the summer the other one went bad, but we really enjoy it. It's really tasty. So it tastes just like the restaurant, um, you know, that they serve it. Um, what is that? Olive Garden. So just got another one of those right there. And last but not least, for sure, guys, because I'm looking around and there's nothing else. So last but least, I just brought this small cake right here. Me and my son had this before. This is that chocolate German little layer cake. I didn't want nothing too big because that was just too much. And, of course, I could have divided between my sisters, my brother, my mom, and all them, and cousins and stuff. But I, I just wanted something small for me and him. He really enjoyed this cake when I got it about two or three months ago. And I enjoy it, too. So I just got something to celebrate him for finishing up his first semester of college. Trying to keep him encouraged and keep him going and keep his spirit up. Plus, I like to do little things like this for him. I have always did this for him. It's not going to stop because he's 19, because he's my child. And I'm going to celebrate him until the day I die. So anyway, we got this one right here for him. Just a little celebration this weekend. Um, probably not going to slice into the, probably not going to cut into this until tomorrow is Sunday. When I make Sunday dinner, we'll have a piece of cake. So yeah, guys. So sorry about that. You know, all that stopping and saying it was over, but I'm just really woozy and sleepy and no i don't drink and i don't smoke anything and even if i did i'm grown but i don't drink and i don't smoke anything it's just the weather really gets me so tired and drowsy and when i find myself when i get back from the grocery store especially if i go to costco sam's club bj's i'm always tired when i get back and then set this stuff up and film i'm just always a little tired so i'm gonna take a nap when i get all this stuff up but yeah this is it right here and over here and the stuff that's down here so if you like this video give me a big thumbs up guys like comment and subscribe and share the video guys if you really enjoy any of my videos share your videos that really help out my channel when you hit the like button and you share the video also guys just because I remember because sometimes I don't mention it because I forget or I just my, my my brain go go 50 miles per hour i got so much on my mind um all this stuff right here i just showed you was 277 dollars i noticed also guys be careful in the stores i don't care if it's your local store or the big box stores just check your dates because y'all got to understand they got all that stuff that was sitting 
all that shipment and stuff was shit sitting on the boats. They're going to be bringing that stuff in, trying to sell that stuff. We don't know how long it's been there. And a lot of the produce and, and some of the foods, you have to really be careful and check your dates and make sure you're getting the best fresh products for your money and for your family as possible because they're trying to sell that stuff that's coming in off those boats and everything so i'm i'm a i'm the type of person that i'm a big believer in checking your dates and checking your products and just be careful so okay guys thank you again for coming back to the channel i really really appreciate you all i hope you all enjoy your weekend and i will see you in the next video guys thanks again take care and bye for now